Hi YouTube, it's Melody. I just wanted to hop on real quick and do my second review. Uh, these are the ProHex Professional Seed Starting Trays. Not sure if you're familiar with it. It's almost like a greenhouse. You get the clear lid. Um, 72 holes to put dirt in. So I wanted to give you my honest opinion on what I think of this. Like I said, these were ordered off of Amazon. And I did open the first one. I didn't open the second one. Um, first opinion right off the gate is that. Do you see that? How it's separating. It's very, very flimsy. So I just literally opened it and it's already separated. And with that being said, basically tells me when you go to pop your... Uh, plant out of here. I just don't really think they're a great quality. I think they're, they're going to just rip easy. So that's the first thing that I noticed on this. It's very thin. It's not durable. You can see it's ripping as I'm holding it. And then it comes with a tray. And actually, the tray I'm a little impressed with because the tray is uh, on the thicker side. This is for bottom watering. You put your water in there. And then you fill this up with dirt in here. Plant all your seeds. And then you can bottom water. Not have to worry about watering from the top. So this part I think is a little too flimsy. And then the tray. I'm completely impressed with the tray because it's very, very sturdy for the bottom watering. And then here's the lid that's supposed to be like a greenhouse. As you can see, it's kind of bent. It's very thin. It's actually thinner than the plastic covers that they put on cake. You know, on the top of cakes, it says Jiffy on the front. And um, this is something that I noticed as well. Let me see if I could do this one-handed. This would go over. And it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit properly. It's supposed to go over top. Keep the camera on it. This is supposed to go over top. And as you can see, it's not fitting properly. It would be okay like that. Say the cell two count is in there. You can see how it's all bent. Right in here, I can fit my finger in there. It doesn't close all the way. When I had the 72 cell count in here, it just doesn't, it's not shaped right. It just, it's, I don't, I don't like it. So there's my review. I literally don't like it other than the tray. Um, it's a shame to say that too, because a friend of mine ordered these for me to help me out on Amazon, I'm pretty sure, and they're just extremely flimsy. It's the Pro Hex Professional Seed Starting Tray 72 Cell uh, Root Development System. And it basically, on the back, gives you in three languages. Fill the planting cell with premium seed starting mix, water thoroughly, which is this part right there. That's what you fill your dirt in there and then or your seed starting mix i usually just use miracle grow and then it says to water it thoroughly plant seeds according to the seeds package direction cover with the dome and place it in a warm location away from direct sunlight okay but i can't get the dome to fix they like to actually fit on here see if i can do it this way let me show you i'm gonna take the tray we're going to put this in there. We're going to try to put the lid on again. Doesn't snap on. Doesn't stay down. So if you're ready to do fall vegetables like I am, first thing I thought of is this is just going to get blown right off by the wind if you end up, you know, getting a windy day. There is no lock and it doesn't fit over it, if you can see that. 
and there's that side. It's like you have to keep going around, trying to push it shut, and it's not locking to anything. I mean, I guess you could put a piece of tape on each side to get it to hold that way, but me personally, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I'm a full-fledged gardener, and this is a little too flimsy for my taste. And uh, you can see it's just going to rip right in half. The, tr the watering tray is good. Uh, the cell count is not. It's very thin and flimsy, and the lid doesn't even fit. Um, so, yeah. wanted to hop on and let you know that. It basically just, the further instructions just said, when the first seeds sprout, prop the dome open. Well, the dome will always be propped open because it doesn't lock shut, basically. When all the seeds have sprouted, remove dome and place in a sunny location. After first true leaves appear, cut back all except the strongest seedlings in each plant cell. No sense reading any further going on with the directions because this is my second review. My first one I did on my dehydrator, which I absolutely love. My dog's going to walk in the way. Um, it's fantastic. Works great. This is my second review on these Pro Hexes. 72 cell count uh, seedling trees and I personally think they're, they're not worth it. I would need a lid that actually fits on. Uh, this is, I had one where the dome was about this high, very thick, very sturdy. It, all, it re recently did break, but that's because we got a terrible windstorm here and a plant fell on it. So my friend's trying to fix it. I don't know, tape it back together. But it was very thick and sturdy. These are thinner than the covers that you get on your baked goods at the store. Like, I, I just don't foresee them lasting, and I'm not into that. I like to buy things that I can get a couple gardening seasons out of. So, yeah. I don't know what you guys think, but that's my opinion on the Pro Hex Professional Seed Starting Tray. I think they're weak, flimsy. The domes are out of shape. They're actually bent uh, again if you can see that they don't lock on it, it's yeah so there you go guys there's my review review on the pro hex um, I don't know how I'm gonna handle my situation because like I said someone bought them for me a friend of mine and I'm not about hurting anyone's feelings um, but I'm more of an economical person if I was to get two of the seed starting trays I would go for the thicker ones with the higher dome that has where you, I don't know if you've ever seen it, it has the round hole in the middle and you can vent. They usually have a vent on the side. I used that all last winter and it was used for years prior to that by someone else and that really held up. This is complete utter garbage and that's my review on the ProHex Professional Seed Starting Tray. I wouldn't buy it. Um, I think if it's just for right now and you have money to burn and you just want to use it and then throw it out, that's probably fine. It'll probably work for you, I guess. But I like to buy things that I can reuse. So I give it a thumbs down. Not impressed, guys. All right. So like I said, just wanted to hop on real quick, give you my review. If anything, 1 to 10 on a review. I would give it a one and that's because I think the watering tray is sturdy but the rest of it is just crap okay guys I hope you enjoyed this review which is my second one and yeah I am not going to buy this brands or this type of uh, professional seed starting tray ever again because they're junk all right I hope that helped you hopes Ugh, let's speak English here. I hope that that helps everyone out who's getting ready to do a fall garden and may need to do their little seedlings. Um, you may get some use out of it for just like your fall garden, but it's not going to be something that's going to be sturdy enough that you can reuse for the next year. All right, guys. Um, but again, just wanted to hop on and let you know I would probably give it a one. And yeah. I definitely wouldn't recommend to buy it. All right, guys, I will be talking to you soon. Have a great day.